Welcome to DIY Design by CCW, DIY Design for the 21st Century. My name is Candy and I'm the host of this channel. Now let's get into this video. Hello everyone, welcome to DIY Design by CCW. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you are having a fantastic day. Well, today everyone, I've got several DIYs planned for you. Um, I picked up several uh, of these glass jars at my local thrift shop. I mean, I bought pretty much everything that they had, all sorts of shapes, all sorts of styles, and uh, I'm gonna make some of these over for you today. I've got some uh, various types of bling and bling wrap, and I've got a brand new paint color for us today. This one is uh, copper, number 5538, and again, made by Treasure Gold, and I'll make sure that I leave that information down in my description box. And we're also going to do another mirror, a rather large mirror this time, and uh, we're gonna see how it turns out. All right, everybody, so now let's jump right into the DIY. Now, if you're new here, this will be new to you. If you're one of my subscribers, first of all, thank you so much for your support. But those of you that follow the channel, you already know that I always start by painting my glass, uh, excuse me, my glass pieces. So again, uh, if you do follow the channel, then you know that during this process, what I do is paint each of my items with uh, three coats of paint and uh, basically trying to make sure that I keep my brush, brush strokes as even as possible and I let the uh, coats dry completely in between, usually several hours, and then the final coat, I usually let that dry overnight. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to coat all three of these pieces. Guys, I can tell you right now that I am already loving this color. It is so vibrant. You know, you really can't even see it on camera. It just does not do it justice. So I'm going to go ahead and do this painting. And uh, I'll come back, guys. Let you watch me do this. And I'll come back when we get to the next part of the DIY. So while my, uh, my vessels, vases, whatever we're calling them these days are drying, I'm going to go ahead and make lids for uh, the three, uh, three of the uh, containers. So you may, if you've seen me do this before, this won't be brand new, um, but to those of you that are new to the channel, what I like to do when I'm making these kind of containers is I like to, or doing these types of DIYs, I like to make my own lids. Now I do use several methods. Sometimes I use poster board. Uh, it just depends on the size of the jars and what I want the lids to look like. So in this case, I'm actually gonna make three lids 
and uh, I am using a combination of some wood pieces and these are the types of wood pieces you can buy either at the dollar store or Michaels or even Joann Fabrics and they're really inexpensive. Uh, I have three that are three and a half inches one set that is three inches wide or you know three inches round around however you would say that and then I'm also using four inch cake boards now because I didn't have the wood pieces in four in the four inch uh, size and I needed four inch for the larger uh, vase now um, what I do as you can see is after I glue them together and I glued three of each piece together that way that they would be the you know I wanted them to be a little bit thicker a little bit uh, substantial so once they're glued together then I paint all the pieces um, now once the paint is dry or paint all of the lids rather uh, once they're dry what I do is use glitter paper and I'll make sure to link the brand and the name down in my description box on one side of the lid that way when you lift that lid up and you look inside the container you see something nice and uh, since the opposite side is going to be covered for the most part with a mirror I only use the glitter paper on one side all right guys so I'll let you watch me do this part and then I'll be back when we move on to the next part of the DIY So now that um, my lids have been assembled with the mirrors and with the glitter paper, uh, the last thing that I'll do is trim, trim uh, the edges out with fabric trim. And uh, I'm going to use two different types of fabric trim. They're both made by Additions, and I buy them from Joanne Fabrics. However, uh, one is a little wider than the other because the larger lid is a little bit thicker than the two smaller lids. And there you can see what the lid looks like underneath. Uh, again, I'm going to do the same thing to my two smaller lids. And um, once that's done, we will glue on our crystal knobs. And then we'll move on to the next part of the DIY. Thank you. 
guys so now we're going to move on to the mirror so to start I want to make my mirror just a little bit thicker so what I did off camera is cut this piece of poster board uh, to the exact size of my mirror and the mirror is 12 by 20 uh, also it came from Michaels and uh, the brand is Art Minds I believe now what I'll do is paint uh, the trim or the edge rather of the um, of the uh, poster board with the same paint um, that I'm using which is the copper and the reason I do that is so that when it shows through or if anything shows through the bling wrap you will only see the paint now the underside of the uh, poster board I'm going to glue down as you can see I've glued down this beautiful copper colored glitter paper that way if I sit my mirror on top of another mirror or another reflective surface you wouldn't see that poster board underneath or if you happen to look under it um, and of course you saw me sit something heavy uh, on it until it dried now we're going to go ahead and prep the mirror first thing I like to do is remove those little black uh, whatever they call those things that they put on the mirror um, I take those off and I used to kind of scrape them off but I've damaged a mirror or two so I find that if I just use my hands it's the easiest way to get it off so now we're going to use my E6000 quick hold glue and uh, then I'm going to glue my poster board uh, piece to the back of the mirror turn it over so that I can make sure that it's nice and level and then we're going to sit it aside and let it dry and then I'm going to do something you've probably seen me do before I'm going to make legs now there's quite a few things you can do to do legs you don't have to do this you can certainly use the little crystal knobs uh, those would look you know really nice um, I like to make my own and it, it costs me a little bit less to do it I buy these blocks from Dollar Tree um, so they're really cheap and what I do is uh, glue four of them together I find that those four will make just the right size that I want uh, then once they're all glued together um, I take them and paint them and uh, once I paint them let that paint dry then I'm going to cover it with a little bit of the glitter paper on one side and then add a little bling wrap uh, to each of them to dress them up and then we'll glue them to the back of our mirror. So I'll let you watch me th do this process guys and then I'll come back when we get to the next part of the DIY.
Now before I glue the legs that we just made onto the back of the mirror, what I'll do is take some bling wrap, just ordinary bling wrap, and I'm gonna add a little trim around the mirror. Uh, just gives it a little more professional look. Uh, and again, I'm just using ordinary bling wrap. Now, sometimes I add two layers of bling wrap when I make these mirrors. This time, I'm just going to use one. And uh, again, these are things, when I make things like this, I'm usually just working with my scraps. And in this case, I am doing that. As you can see, I'm just taking little pieces of scrap uh, bling wrap that I had left over from different projects, cutting them into strips of two, and, uh, and uh, I'm gonna glue them all around. And then once this is done, I'll go ahead and glue my legs on the back and then I'll set it aside and uh, here that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to glue the legs on the back and then I'll set it aside, let the glue dry and uh, then we'll come back to the mirror a little bit later. Alright guys, so I'll be back uh, when we start on the next part of the DIY. So we're going to move on to the vase. Now, um, what I did with the vase is, again, I painted the bottom uh, and I let it dry in between coats and I did three full coats. So now, and then I let the um, vase dry overnight. So now we're ready to add a little bling. So what I'm going to do is for the top of the vase, I'm going to add uh, just some simple bling wrap. And uh, I've cut the strips, um, cut it, you know, some uh, sections into equal sizes. And uh, I'm just going to go around the top with those strips. Now, usually what I do is lay the base on its side. Uh, that way I can kind of see what I'm doing a little bit better. And I uh, use my fingers to kind of work over the uh, bling wrap and make sure that it's, <clears throat> excuse me, that it's laying flat. Then when I place another piece, what I do is turn the vase and I make sure that I put it on the opposite side. Now, once that was done, I turn the vase on its side again and I begin to work on the bottom. And uh, for the bottom, I'm using the, uh, the other type of bling wrap that you see me work with quite a bit. Again, I'll have links down in my description box where you can order uh, if you like this bling wrap. I usually purchase mine from eFavor Mart uh, just because I like the quality. But of course, you know, they sell this bling wrap in several places and you can also find it in my Amazon store. So that's exactly what I'm do. I'm going to do here. I'm going to work my way around the bottom of the vase and uh, then we'll look at a couple of ideas for the uh, the belt and guys if you're new here you wouldn't know this but uh, I look at these vases as dresses you know guys if you follow the channel you hear me say that all the time but to me they remind me of fancy ball gowns and that's why I love these vases but um, I tried a few different things here I went with uh, a couple of different looks and um, in the end I think I ended up trying just some normal uh, fabric trim and I did add a little brooch and uh, and that was it and the brooches that I used for this DIY I showed you in the very beginning they actually came in a set of three uh, I got them from Joanne Fabrics, and they're normally $7.99 for three, but they were half off. So basically, I paid about a buck per brooch. Uh, they come, like I said, in a section of three, and I cut them, you know, uh, cut the uh, attachment and use them uh, in as individual brooches. So anyway, I'll let you go ahead and watch me do this part, then I'll be back when we move on to the next part of the DIY.
All right, guys, so now I'm going to show you what I did, or we're going to take a look at what I did with the three uh, jars. Now, I did all three almost exactly alike, so rather than do all three on camera, I'm going to show you the middle size one so that you know what I did and then, um, you know, and how, how, I, how I decorated them. Um, so here I'm working with another type of fabric trim. Um, if you follow the channel, you know that many times instead of just, you know, normal bling wrap, I use fabric trims uh, that you can really find some gorgeous pieces. Um, now, I usually do buy them at Joann Fabrics, but I do have some in my Amazon shop that you can order. And of course, there are many places that you can find them. But it's just a really nice way to embellish, you know, your DIYs. And, um, and again, I get tired of using just the normal bling wrap all the time. So here I'm going to take some, and you see I've taken some fabric trim and added some around the, uh, the lip of the, uh, or the neck or whatever we want to call it, of our little container. And then I have, the, it's the same type of fabric trim, but this one has more rows. Uh, I'm going to add that around uh, the, the neck or the belt area of this, uh, of this little vase. And uh, once I get that glued on, I'll actually do the same thing around the bottom. And um, that's really it. I think I do add another little piece or something uh, off camera, um, but not much. This is, this is pretty much what I did. And I do add uh, the brooch that you see laying there, those three, the, the ones I said come in a set of three. I end up gluing that on after, uh, only because I needed, I wanted to let this glue set on this fabric trim. And uh, once it's set, then I turn the vase on its side and I glue the brooch in place. And... Uh, this vase will be ready. So again, I did three of these and uh, this is the middle size one. I did a smaller one and I also did a larger one. And of course, you'll see all three of them at the final reveal. All right, guys, now I'll be back when we get to the next part of the DIYs. We're not ready for the final reveal yet. I've got one more DIY for you. So now that we've let the glue dry on the trim and the legs, I'm going to go back here or we're going to go back here and finish uh, the mirror. So uh, I kind of play around with it a little bit and experiment with some different gems until I find a pattern that I like. Um, and what I suggest is if you make a mirror like this, that you lay your pattern out before you start gluing. So that's what you're going to see me do here. I'll go all the way around the mirror and uh, what I decided to do was in the corners I'm using the little teardrop or the larger rather teardrop teardrop shaped uh, gems and then I've got some diamond or acrylic gems uh, and some square flat back gems and I'm just going to go all the way around um, and, uh, you know, see how it looks. And if I'm happy with the pattern, then I can go ahead and start gluing everything down. Now for the glue, I use a hot glue gun, uh, for the flat back gems. And I do that because any other type of glue will discolor those gems for the diamond or acrylic, you know, shaped gems. Uh, acrylic diamond gems, I should say. Sometimes I can use just a little bit of the quick hold uh, E6000 on those, but for the most part, I use my hot glue gun. All right, guys, when this mirror is done, it is time for the final reveal. So hold on, everybody. I'll be back for the reveal.
friends, this is how the copper vanity set turned out. You know what? I like it. I hope you do too. Uh, that's a close-up of the vase. That's a close-up of the middle size jar uh, or container. There's a close-up of the larger one. And in the front here is a close-up of the smaller one. All right, now let's take a closer look at, at everything. Oh, guys, these are so pretty. I really like them. I hope you do, too. Um, I think they're going to be nice on my dresser. They'll make a nice gift if I decide to give them to somebody. Uh, there you can see the mirror, but we're going to take another, you know, a little bit closer look at the mirror. Uh, there's a close-up of the vase. If you remember when I did the vase, uh, when we were on camera, I wasn't sure what kind of wrap I wanted to put. I knew I was going to use that brooch, but I didn't know what kind of wrap. And I decided to just go ahead and use the same trim, fabric trim on the neck. And I also used it around the edge, and then I just added that brooch. There's a close-up of the mirror. Guys, this is the largest square mirror that I've ever done, and I like it. I really do like it. I think I'm going to use it quite a bit. It's the perfect size for your vanity. You can fit a few more things on there. Um, again, these little these jars 25 cents for each of these pieces and this is what we i was able to create from them um again these containers on the side here uh that's a, obviously a different color that's the fire opal vanity set that i did for with the little square uh containers and there's some pieces in the back uh, that were done with a slightly different color, but we'll, we'll look at those in a minute. And as you can see, each of the lids is slightly different. Now, since I didn't have a four inch round mirror, as you can see when I did the, or three and a half inch round mirror rather, when I did that particular lid, there was a little bit of the edge showing, but I just decided to let the copper show. Um, and I, I like it, you know, on the bottom, if you if I were to lift the lid which I forgot to do sorry there's glitter paper underneath and it's a copper uh, glitter paper but in again I really love these I love the brooches I love how everything turned out let me know what you think again I'll list all the materials down in my description box now here in the back uh, this these pieces in the back they were done with a slightly different color they're rose gold it looks close to the copper, but it's not as vibrant. It's, it, um, you can really tell when you see it off camera, but uh, those little containers, I think in that vase I did at the same time, and then that mirror comes from another uh, DIY. So again, guys, that's how everything turned out. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, that little container there also comes from the Fire Opal set. Um, I, this is how everything turned out. I really hope you like it. Um, this DIY took me a little more time than some. I did this over a couple of days, but I'm really happy to share it with you. I hope you like it. If you're not a member of the channel, I hope you'll subscribe today. Tap the bell at least two times because I would love to have you be a member of the family. Also, if you get time, go over and visit, if you will, my other channel, which is Tablescapes by Candy. And on that channel, I share tablescapes with you using pretty much most of the DIYs that I create on this channel. All right, everyone. Again, thank you so much for watching. And uh, like I say, at the end of every video, I cannot wait to see you, each and every one of you, in the next video. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day or a wonderful night.